Okay, so this is my tutorial on how to set up Swiss for the Nintendo Wii. It'll let you load GameCube backups and stuff. Okay, so first you have to get all the files for it. Just go to... You can get them here. If you read my uh, tutorial that I wrote, it has the links to all them or they'll be in the description. Uh, you'll need CMIOS. Wii Swiss Booter and Swiss itself. So first download the CMIOS, custom MIOS. I'll just save it here. Download Wii Swiss Booter. You need that to open Swiss on the Wii. And Swiss itself. This will probably be higher when you're downloading it. It's updated all the time. If you go back, you'll also want this because there's some games that don't run right, so you'll need to download that. And if you want cheats, Swiss has built-in cheats, but if you want to add your own, then you'll need this too, but I don't want to, so that's all the files that you'll need. Now, open this up. So, next, you'll have to get your SD card. One second. Okay, plug that into your computer. And this should come up. I will delete this so that I can start over. Okay, so you'll need to actually start with Wii Swiss Booter, okay? So open up the Wii Swiss Booter archive. And there's an apps folder, just copy that over to your SD card. Now inside that you'll see Swiss. Go back to your Swiss files, open up the CMIOS. There's CMIOS WeGator, copy that over. So now in your apps folder, you should have Swiss and CMIOS WeGator in your apps folder. Okay, you'll also need Swiss right here. You can either put it in the root of your SD card or inside the Swiss folder. I'm going to put it inside the Swiss folder. Either way, you have to rename it to swiss.doll. Get rid of the dash LZ. Okay. And that is that. Oh yeah, you'll also need to put your games. Um, these are my games. I have pre patcher in here. You don't need it in there. Um, only put the games on if this is the SD card you're going to be using in your SD Gecko, or if you're using an IDE hard drive, then put the games on that instead. They don't need to be in a folder named games, I just did that to make it look nicer. Okay, that is it for the computer. I have to go to the Wii now. Oh, sorry, I forgot one thing. Um, if your Wii doesn't have an internet connection, then you'll need to, and you're going to install the CMIOS, then you'll need to follow this. If your Wii has an internet connection, then you can just skip ahead to, uh, so I'll say where on the video. But this is only for people who don't have an internet connection on their Wii. So you'll need to download a program called NUS Downloader. Um, get version 19, because that's the version I'm going to be using in this video. Save it there. Okay. Um, make a folder for it. And 
copy all the files in there over to your folder. Okay, once that's done, you'll have to start up nusdownloader.exe. Sorry about that. Um, window should come up that looks like this. Okay. On this, you'll have to go database, system, MIOS, version 10. Click on that. You'll also need to check the PackWAD thing, PackWAD. Okay. So now you can just hit start and us download. Okay, it says it's finished, so close that. There should be a folder called titles now. Inside there, there should be this, then 10. And inside that, you should have a file called rvl-mios-v10.wad. That's the file that you'll need. So, go back to your SD card and copy this wad to the root of your SD card. Just like that. So your SD card should look something like this. Alright, now we can go on to the Wii. Okay, you're on to your Wii now. So, before you start, you'll need a couple things. First, you'll need a GameCube controller because you can't use a Wii remote with Swiss. Second, you'll need a retail game in your Wii's disk drive. It doesn't matter if it's Wii or GameCube, it just has to be retail. You can't use a backup. It doesn't matter what game it is either. Okay, so if you have those, then you're ready to continue. So take your SD card from your computer and put it into the front SD slot of the Wii. And start up the homebrew channel. Sorry if the quality's bad, I'm just using an easy cap. So, anyway, once that starts up, you should have the CMIOS installer and Swiss Booter. Those two. So, first thing that you'll need is Wii Gators CMIOS. So, start that up. You'll come to a screen like this. Okay, so on the select which iOS to load, you'll need to choose a CIOS. Those are usually in slot uh, 222, 23, 24, 36, or 249 or 250. One of those should work. Try 249 first. It's the most common. You'll get to this. Don't hit anything or else you'll have to uh, start the CMIOS installer over again. So you, after that you get here, press 1, then go to MIOS menu. Don't need to change any of these, so just install patched MIOS version 10. Okay, so when it says where to load it, if your Wii doesn't have an internet if your Wii doesn't have an internet connection and you followed the stuff earlier, you can choose to load it from the SD card. If your Wii does have an internet connection, then you can just download it from NAS, which is what I'll do. Okay, that's done, so just hit A to start the install. And now you can push any button to exit the installer which will take you back to the homebrew channel. Now that that's installed, you're going to... Okay, there's a few things that you can do here. If the SD card that um, you're using right now is different from the one that's going in the SD Gecko, like if you're using a separate SD card for your games, then you can put that into your SD Gecko and put in your SD Gecko. If this is the same SD card that has... This is the one that has the apps and the games on it, then you can take it out of the front SD slot, put it into your SD Gecko, and now put that into slot B. If you were using an IDE to EXI adapter thing, then you could just leave that in the Wii and plug in the adapter. But anyway, once you get through that, just start up Swiss. And if you're lucky, it should start up. 
there it is. So now you'll need to do the rest with a GameCube controller. Using the D-pad, choose your device. I'm using an SD Gecko. Here, if this is your first time doing it, then choose Compatible. If the game that you're trying works, then next time you can try fast. I'm just going to do Compatible. Choose your slot, mine's in slot B. Should bring you to this screen. So, this is your SD card. So inside Games, I have my two games. Oops. Mario Kart and Legend of Zelda. So, just find the game you want, navigate using the GameCube's D-pad. Find the game you want and hit A. Uh, Swiss has built-in cheats, you can get to those with Y, but I don't want to use cheats, so I'm just going to start it up with A. It'll check the ISO. Now you'll have to hit A to continue. And now it will ask you if you want to stop the DVD motor. Choose no the first time. If your game works, then you can try yes. But all the games that I've tried don't work if I stop it, so I have to hit no. Get to here. And now it should start up the game. There it is. Let's see. Yeah. It's the menus and stuff might be kind of slow, but the actual gameplay, at least for this game, is pretty good. I'll just try a little bit, and I'll do... I'll just test it out, see if it works. And that seems to be running at a pretty good speed. Oh, I died. Okay. So, that's the basics to using Swiss on your Wii. If you want more details or something, then you can read my tutorial that I wrote. It's on GBA Temp. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, there's channels and stuff there too, like this. This is one that I made. It just is pretty simple. It starts up Swiss the same way Swiss Booter does. Uh, if you have problems and stuff, then go to that tutorial I wrote too. Um, that's it. So I hope I helped you. Goodbye.